I remember the day basketball chose me. I was in seventh grade, sitting in my room, pondering what I would be when I grew up. I can still feel the smile that was plastered on my face. When I finished writing it, I ripped out my page. I flew down the hallway to find my brother and sister and broadcasted, I know what I want to be when I grow up. I shoved the piece of paper in their hands and waited to hear their responses. On cue, they both said, this is so cool. Have you showed mom? Have you showed dad? I snatched the paper out of their hands and I ran downstairs screaming, mom, dad, I know what I want to be when I grow up. And as I found them in the living room, I shoved the piece of paper in their hands, waiting for their response. They both looked at each other, and they said, honey, if anyone can do it, you can. What was my goal? <laughs> what was my goal? What had I written? One day, I will be a professional basketball player in the NBA. <laughs> yeah, the NBA. <laughs> Thus began my true journey to becoming a pro. Basketball chose me, an awkward, lanky, introverted tomboy born with a hearing disability, a speech impediment, and a will to overcome obstacles, dream big, and to change the world. <laughs> Basketball chose me, but God had even bigger plans for me. I never dreamed of being a Hall of Famer. Outside my dad and my family, the legend that just walked me to the stage, both played an instrumental part in my journey. I modeled my game after Zoe and literally had a wall full of Zoe posters and all of the Charlotte Hornets merchandise, all of it, despite living in Chicago Bulls country. Sorry, Jordan. <laughs> to me, it was the way that he played the game and the way he gave to his teammates. You showed me what being a multi-dimensional player was. And I thank you for being my first role model outside of my house. Yeah, it's kind of cool to be walked to the stage by my first. <laughs> Don, you showed me how to lead, both on and off the court. You entered my life via the 96 Olympic team. That's the year I decided I wanted to follow you, Lisa, Cheryl, and so many more. And I wanted to represent our country on the big stage. I didn't know eight years later I'd be starting a journey to an Olympian. Watching you, you taught me how to lead and how to use my voice in so many ways. You were the reason that I had a passion for giving back and inspiring future generations. I've continued to look up to you in mere admiration of who you are and how you continue to step up and challenge the status quo. Thank you. So, I have so many people to thank, but I want to start with my family. Dad, you were my first true coach. Truth be told, my coach throughout the whole career, even when I didn't want you to. <laughs> Standing up here on this stage, I now realize why you pushed me as hard as you did, to help me reach new heights and be great in my own way. Thank Dad. Thanks to my stepmom, Latrice, and my baby brother, Bryce, for being here and sharing in so many moments along the way. <laughs> Mom, you are simply amazing. Coming off the heels of Mother's Day, the sacrifices you made, running us from gym to gym, field to field, you have made me look at you as your favorite superhero, superwoman. The moments we've had together have molded me into the women that I am today. When I go back to memory lane, I think about the time you dragged me off the softball field. After yet another temper tantrum and the bat sailing through the air toward the dugout. In the car, you said, Tamika, if you don't get your attitude in check, no matter how good you are, people won't want you on your team. Well, it worked, kind of. <laughs> to my brother and sister, Kenyon and Taja, you always hear about my brother's keeper, but you too have been my keeper through the ups and downs, good and bad. Thank you for knowing what to say and when and for allowing me to be me. Thank you for continuing to believe in me and support all of the dreams and goals that I've shared with you too. I'm thankful to, the, I'm thankful to share this stage with my entire extended family, including my older sister, Christy, my niece and nephews that are here tonight and the ones that could not be here. 
Thank you for allowing me to love on you like my own kid and to provide you your first experience at a professional basketball game, along with your first French fry experience and the best ice cream ever, pink bubblegum, of course. Still a little upset that you guys don't love it. To all of my coaches, could you have imagined this is where we'd be one day? From Stevenson High School with Coach Matushi to Duncanville High School with Coach Hackett to playing for the first female coach I ever saw stomping on national TV with those steely gray blue eyes in, arena, in an arena of the prettiest orange color in the background. Insert Pat Summit, AKA Pat. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.